So I got this homie named Matt Damasi. You know him as Shattered Comics over on Instagram. This is a very in incredibly talented artist. He does these giant mosaics. They go for like freaking five to 15 plus thousand dollars. He sold his mosaic of uh, first Iron Man and Toss for uh, to Robert Downey Jr., you know, so it's, it's a pretty cool thing. And he's also a collector. He, he, he hunts aggressively. And he showed me a purchase that I wanted to bring to you guys because I thought it fascinating. He doesn't just buy comics. Like, and that's how the comic collecting hobby goes, you know? Like when you're going about and you're buying collections, you kind of got to get well-versed in a lot of little stuff, you know? You're going to buy cards sometimes. Sometimes you're going to get hit with magazines. Sometimes video games. Like I got well-versed in video games mostly because I would buy a collection and then they'll say, hey, are you interested in NES stuff? And, you know, I wasn't like trying to buy NES stuff, but that's in the box and I want it, you know? So Matt DeMossi, he does some of this stuff too. And he bought a binder of marketing ads from a owner who worked at this shop. And it was like a family member of the person. So this is a binder from a store that he had filled with just old pictures, okay? He said he spent like three grand on a bunch of stuff. So I don't know if this was added into it. I doubt he paid three grand for just this binder. Maybe he'll follow up, shout out. Um, but I want to show you some of these pictures because this is from a grocery store way back in the day. Now, the reason why I know that this is way back in the day, I'm going to take you to like around the year. And I'm going to show you why I know the year here in a second. We're talking in the 30s, okay? So um, this right here is um, on the screen. Can you describe what you're seeing for our audio listeners? It looks from this angle, an interior of a grocery store. And I don't know if Equipto is the <laughs> robot security guard from the future that's protecting it. I think or it's the, the name, name of the store. <laughs> Maybe the name of the store. It looks like the name of the supplier who supplies shelves. It looks like a catalog for shelving in grocery stores. Wait, so, wait, wait, wait. What's on the shelves? So yeah. now I'm looking at a picture because this is filled with pictures of this store from way back when. Okay, And this is something he acquired. He has these pictures. And I don't believe they're ever been seen on the internet so hit the subscribe button we're bringing you some cool stuff here today but what we're looking at now is like a big old magazine rack and you can see a lot of different magazines you can zoom in on this day. right yeah there sure you go. know esquire's on there um it yeah, looks like some uh this is a real newsstand yeah it's like a, like like a og oh, real newsstand. i see a right? jumbo comics now what's really cool about this is i'm going to show you this picture this is the this is a shot of the entire store here um so you can see like yeah, they have a lot of stuff around in fixtures, but also a, a lot of stuff on the counters back I in the see day. A Nestle jars. bar down in the bottom right. Say that again. Nestle bar down in the bottom right. Yes, yeah, candy. That is a, yeah, candy stuff. Of course, I um, spot the candy. <laughs> yeah, Ryan loves candy, but you know we're a comic book podcast. I want to show you this. This picture right here may be the only picture that exists of Detective Comics twenty seven. Oh, three copies on freaking rack. Oh, uh, dude, what is that? Okay, so that's an All American Comics. That's gonna predate though the first uh, Green Lantern, but that Jumbo Comics. Can you see what issue number that is? Jack Kirby's first work, I believe, was in a Jumbo Comics. I mean, first published comic work. Star Comics is a tough publication. Fritzy Ritz or Fritz, Fritz. Oh, funnies. Oh man, it's so cool. That is so freaking cool. What's next to the Detective? Man, you got me geeking out here. I yeah. love seeing these types of photos. So how cool is this? Because I don't think I've ever seen a Detective 27, first appearance of Batman, on a stand. Just sitting and there. And Matt DeMossi wow. got a collection filled with a bunch of pictures. And there was, like, no hesitancy to buy this probably when he saw this one photograph. Has this ever been documented? I don't know. But I have to assume there's not very many pictures from on-stand sales of the first appearance of Batman. And also, look how freaking nice those books look. That's crazy. You don't even know who they, Batman is yet at that point. It's they, just another comic. They look shiny and fresh like they just got printed. That's crazy. And Yo, comic fam on audio. Um, you gotta, Ryan has got a freaking grin on. Jeff is like in. He's got. He's lost in bewilderment right now. Yeah, for this one section at least, you got to pull up on YouTube if you're listening to this. Dude, can you zoom in even more? I need to see these books. I mean, this is this is uh, that one. Uh, just enhance like they do on CSI. Bring his face up, full screen. His glasses. There's a reflection. Enhancing on in, in, for a photo taken in the 30s means zooming um, or pulling your face closer to the screen. No, but this is like extremely high resolution photo. Yeah. Like to be zooming in this much to get the details. Talk in the mic, Jeff. 
I can't, man. I'm too busy trying to put my face in the screen. That's so cool, man. What are you thinking about right now? I'm thinking... I don't know, man. I'm, I'm thinking excited. I want a time machine. I want a time machine. I want to find this place. I want a Hershey bar. He just wants to go back for the Hershey bar. Well, that too. I'll <laughs> grab that on the way out. But <laughs> On the way out. I love it. This is so cool, man. This is. I got to look up all these comics too now. I got to know what issue numbers they are. Hit what the else? like. Slap the subscribe. We are going to have to come back to the mic with more info now that the Golden Age Brewer has seen it. We haven't told him what year this is because this is Detective Comics 27. So do you know what year it came out? 1927. No. 1929,000. 19... <laughs> 38. Close. 1939. There you go. Oh, what a good guess that you got on your first try. <laughs> I said 1938 first because it just what felt right. But That's I action that. one. Action one is 38. Yeah, June 38. That. That's what I was thinking of. That's right. A 39 Superman 1 came out too, so it could be coming up. It could be one of those. Who knows?